on the aisle continues. And yet there are also some ways that you can keep the costs in check. Financial planner Rob Wilson is here with some advice for the bride and groom to be. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Let's first talk about the cost because it's changed because we are in a recession. It really has. You are seeing people cutting back, but regardless, like you said, recession or not, people are definitely still tying the knot. But I think there's some confusion over how much weddings really cost. And so I thought we'd clear that up a little bit today. You may have heard numbers thrown about where average wedding is $28,000. That number has actually dropped down to about $22,000 as folks cut back from the wedding. But here's the uh, confusing part. A lot of those surveys are based on just a few thousand people who respond to them from a website or a wedding magazine. There's over 2.2 million weddings in this country every year. And if you throw in a couple of million dollar weddings into that average, it's really going to skew that higher. So a, a more realistic number is the median, which is about $15,000. So, you know, still a significant amount of money, but perhaps not uh, as expensive as you, as you might think when you're trying to compare to what other people are doing. But also want to remember that the, that does not include the engagement ring or the uh, honeymoon. So it can really set you back if you don't uh, be careful. Now, traditionally, the old way that it was is that it was the bride's parents responsible for the weddings. And now with some uh, non-traditional or second marriages, things like that, oftentimes it's the couple that's responsible. Is that right? It's changing. That's exactly what you're seeing. I mean, more and more the couples themselves are responsible for the expenses of the wedding. So the first thing that is very important is that the, the couple is going to have to sit down and communicate with, with each other and really set expectations. This is probably going to be the first big decision in the couple's life and this can really set the tone and teamwork and and, and uh, communication or skills you're going to need in other areas of your marriage so it's good to start right away you want to develop a budget because these costs can really get out of hand if you don't manage them you want to save money instead of trying to borrow and this will help you have the wedding that you can afford instead of running up a lot of debt for this and definitely you want to avoid credit cards and loans I mean if the median price is fifteen thousand dollars that's about the cost of a Hyundai Elantra and I don't know if you would put a new vehicle on a credit card so uh, you really want to stay away from borrowing when it comes to uh, this occasion. Okay so the couple sat down they set their expectations they're on a budget so how do they go about actually making sure they save money and stay on budget I know that we've heard about some crazy like ideas totally thinking outside the box tell us about a few of those well, well you really do have to you know desperate times call for desperate measures and they say money can't buy you love but it sure can't buy you a nice wedding but in times like this when people are unemployed and money is a little bit tight you do have to think a little bit outside the box so the first thing you want to do is try to avoid the high season don't book your your wedding uh, in May through October where a lot of people are going to be booking their weddings think about having a Friday night wedding is rather than Saturday or maybe having a Sunday brunch wedding you can save a lot of money and depending on your family you probably save a lot on alcohol too. Uh, use your registry instead of using your registry to get an espresso maker or a treadmill that you're never going to use put your limousine DJ photographer floral arrangements put those things on your registry and help those get paid for too. And here's the last thing, which, which some people may think is a little tacky, but about 1% right of weddings right now are sponsored. So if you're going to have a creative wedding with a big guest list, try to get it sponsored. But make sure you, lose, you use lesser known but high quality retailers because they'll want the exposure and may be willing to give you some free things. One bride actually auctioned off the uh, opportunity to be her bridesmaid, and she scored $10,000 from Snapple for that, uh, for that promotion. So you've got to think about outside the box in a, in a tough economic time like this well and you know what worked well for us when we got married is that we went ahead and we just wore sponsors logos on the back of the tuxedo jackets <laughs> I mean it said tied right we looked like a NASCAR team but it, you know what it saved a bunch of money I was Rob. just gonna say that it works for NASCAR <laughs> and if you've ever been to a charity event no one ever thinks that those are tacky and those events typically have many sponsors who are helping foot the bill there as well so hey why not try uh, you know to be a little creative with your wedding Rob obviously financial advisor a lot of couples are going the way of doing a cheaper wedding and taking that money to put down on a house mm -hmm. what what kind of advice do you have that's I see that as more of a trend that you know a better investment that, certainly right, they're being more practical yes it's one day you can still have a beautiful wedding but keep it really low cost and take that money and really put it towards you know especially those couples who are getting their first home together would you agree it's a it's a much better investment you're gonna live in that house for a very long time and the thing is when you're a young couple typically you have a lot of debt already student loans other things that you've had to borrow so if you can help have 
someone subsidize what's going to be one of your biggest investments in your lives, your home, that's going to be a big asset. I think that's a, a very good idea to do around your wedding. All right, he's our financial planner. He's with us here on Thursdays. Rob, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks talking for having wedding me. planning on this Thursday morning. Yeah, always good. At